Hi guys, my name is Hex. Again, I will show you uh, now how to recruit army and sending resources. Uh, in the previous movie, I will show you how to send the army. Mm, recruiting army, you need to select village to put uh, information here. Let's say here we will uh, recruit 10 times. We will start at this time. Mm, it's 22, let's say 15, 15 seconds, zero, 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 zero milliseconds, interval, let's say every minute, or just every two minutes. Descriptions, description, recruit, test, and I will recruit one minute of this and one minute of this. You can put whatever numbers you want here. It's added. You can add random interval from here is hours. There will be minutes and there will be seconds. Random interval between one minute and let's say five minutes. I can add it and say it's five. I could five this one. Right. You can of course modify it here and here. Remember to enable recruit army. 15, 15, it's time out. After this time. And interval, let's have it here. 17, because it was 15. So if the task, uh, uh, task time uh, will be passed, it will add interval to make it in the future. As you can see here, the good army will happen in 17.50. Okay, we will wa wait for it, and meantime I will show you how to send the resources. Anyway, I will go here. As you can see, there is no nothing in the recruit tree, and here, 22. Mm, sending resources. Oh, I will show you market, of course. Oh, there is something happen anyway. Uh, it's clear. And now I will send from one city to the other. As you can see, information are put in here. Remember to do not send from the this same uh, city to, this, to, to the same. Mm, and uh, just like we did in the sending army and recruit army, you need to tell how many times, let's say one time, when it should uh, go out. 22, let's say 80, zero interval, let's say every 10 minutes, but the count is only one, so it needs to go one time. Uh, that's one. And let's say 100, uh, 100, and I will add it. It's active. Let me, uh, remember to enable sending resources. All this uh, data is saved to settings that file. And uh, as you can see here, you need to wait when the uh, task query will refresh. Sending resources is here now. It's active. Become unactive and sending resources started. If you wait to, to the time of sending resources, which is 18, and it will send it. We will wait here for lock sending resources and at the 18. And let's say. How, let's see how the market looks like. As you can see, it works. Uh, for now, the query is the recruit army. Recruit army had been done here. Recruit army started in barracks done, in stable done. Uh, let's see if it actually works. As you can see, Wuhan, uh, I don't know, Lanterman. Or whatever, uh, and in the stable, 
one light cavalry. So it works. Recruiting army for uh, and count is down by one. But here, recruit army it happens at 20. 20, 58 seconds. Let's make it happen. A little end here. Say 50 and. Here this time uh, is time. It's a uh, system time. Bot is coordinated with your system time. Uh, here is 5. Plus, if it's um, it's active, this one becomes unactive. And we will see how that it work. Five night cavalry. No, it's one. And uh, as you can see here, recruit army from eight. Once uh, this task will end it, it go to nine, and uh, it it work. It's all good. Uh, and it's uh, good. Fit. Anyway, mm, and yeah, that will be all. I think for now you need to just use it, test it, and just have fun to so use data coordinators and the army beginnings with the easiest way as you ever seen. Uh, okay, thank you for watching my tutorials. I hope that my English wasn't so bad. Anyway, uh, you can go to hexforbot.com forum and check out these tutorials. For now, uh, there is no one, but it will be in the future. Thank you again. This was a tutorial for Trival Bot, Bot for Trival Bars. It works on all of these web pages of Trival Bars. Thank you. And see you again.